a motion on urgent national security attention, the killing of seven policemen and others by unknown gunmen in Galadima, Abuja, amongst other killings in the country, standing in the name of Honorable Chris Emeka Azubogo. Honorable Chris is now invited to move the motion. Men and others by unknown gunmen in Galadimawa, Abuja, amongst other killings in the country. The House aware that on the second day of July 2018, policemen attached to the Federal Capital Territory Police Command on duty at Galadimawa area of Abuja we are attacked at their duty post by unknown gunmen. Informed that the gunmen, numbering over a dozen, came on six motorbikes. Also informed that the following gallant police officers were outnumbered and overpowered with sophisticated weaponry by the gunmen who also killed nine civilians in sporadic shootings, including the driver of a known bread marshal, who was carrying out his legitimate business at the Galadimawa Junction at the time of the attack. Further informed that many other passersby were caught by stray bullets with various degree of injuries, worried that this attack is coming too close after the plateau killings and others in the country which have been reported in the immediate past to which government is confronting internally and doing everything possible to contain the, the fallout in terms of national security concern and image management of the country to the international environment. Also worried that these killings now call to question the internal security management of securing the lives and property of citizens by government as provided in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Desirous of the need to reinvigorate the security apparatus of the country to better secure the lives and property of the people, the House resolved to invite the Inspector General of Police and Federal Capital Territory to brief the House on the way forward to enable us to take an informed decision. Two, to revisit the constitutional amendment with regards to credible options for effective policing of our communities. Three, set up an ad hoc committee to determine the rising phenomenon of insecurity in the country, occasioned by killings and kidnappings all over the Federation, provide solutions and report back within six weeks for further legislative action and a general concern to everybody. The general insecurity has come to the height by even the men of police force being attacked and killed in the Federal Capital Territory. That men and men can walk into or can come into the Federal Capital Territory, the fort, the strong fort of the nation, and kill the men of Nigerian police force and go out and nobody, not even one camera, not even anything. Not only that they kill seven policemen who are meant to protect us, they kill other passersby. And the issue of insecurity is on increase. Everywhere we go, we are faced by it. And we are complaining about the architecture of national security. What are the things we need to do? And that is why I call for this uh, motion. My call, primarily to set up another committee, is to look into issues of Identifying who our citizens are. It is important that today that we should look at our national security architecture, which the foundation lies on who are our citizens? Who are those who are living in Nigeria legitimately? How can somebody come into the country, kill somebody and go out? Nobody will we'll be able to find out who the person is. So many killings and we've not unraveled anyone. Nobody has been prosecuted. Nobody has been charged to court. Nobody has been convicted. And human lives are being wasted everywhere. At times, we are, we are filled with the fact that some people will say, the people who are coming to Nigeria to kill people are non-Nigerians. And how do we know those who are non-Nigerians? The immigration is not in a position. We are clear that we have porous border. What are the basic things we need to do? 
We don't have proper identification for our citizens. We don't know who are those who are visitors. The National, Pop National Population Commission cannot ascertain how many we are. The foundation for security is to know how many we are, who are the citizens of the country, and who are visitors. Those who are citizens and who are visitors. And everybody must have identification. Do we have such infrastructure to carry out national security job? No. And we are asking, what are the duties of National uh, Identity Management Commission, National Population Commission, and other infrastructure we've paid for that we are not put in use? The most disgraceful thing is, even our local governments and population commission that are supposed to register death and birth and not those who are Nigerian citizens are not carrying out such duties. So when we look at all these things, there is a need for us as a parliament to sit back and analyze the basic national security infrastructure and do a proper recommendation for the executive for, for our national security. And that was why I brought up this motion. Silence, so please. We find out those things that Order. we need to do as a nation so that we put into better perspective Please. our national security, because that is the primary duty of government for the protection of life and property. My colleagues, I urge that this motion be supported by all of us so that this committee, when it's set up, all the ideas we have as a body, as a parliament, we put it together and make sure we forward it to the executive for quick implementation, because we are feeling very unsafe in this country. I so move. Those in favor of the motion as amended say aye. Those against it say nay. The ayes have it. <laughs>